Good morning, what a beautiful day again. Now I thought I'd read you a story. I'm wearing a few clothes. I've got something on my t-shirt too. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, has anybody guessed what story I'm going to read now? Yes, you're right. It is The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big grey blue humpback whale. This is the rock as black as soot and this is the snail with the itchy foot. It's a little bit smaller than the one on Mrs Wilson's head, isn't it? The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffed and sighed, The sea is deep and the world is wide, how I long to sail, said the tiny snail. There's the dock, can you see the seagulls? They like to pinch chips, don't they? These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wiggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed, then cried, I've got it, I'll hit your lift. There's all the other snails on the rock. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and cowled and said, Lift wanted around the world. This is the whale who came one night. Whoa, beautiful big whale. When the tide was high and the stars were bright, a humpback whale immensely long who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. Look, can you remember what its name is, the tail on a whale? Yes, that's right, it's a fluke. Can you see the fluke on Mrs Wilson's t-shirt? This is the sea so wild and free that carried the whale and the snail on the tail to towering icebergs and far off lands. Oh, I see penguins. Brrr, I bet the snail's a bit chilly over there with fiery mountains and golden sands. Oh, somewhere warm. Can anybody remember what the fiery mountain is called? Yes, a volcano. These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Oh look, he's squinting his face up, squeezing it up like this because it's getting a wet face. They are very big waves. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam around the whale and the snail on the tail. Oh, watch out for the snar sharks! Ooh. This is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny, blue and warm, and sometimes filled with a thunderstorm. With zigzag lightning, flashing and frightening, the tiny whale on the whale tail of the whale. Oh, he's gripping on lock. He looks very tiny if I hold him back here. Can you even see him? And as she gazed at the sky and the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand, she gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. Then she said to the whale, I feel so small. Can you spot her? Oh, I have to bring it nearer. There she is on the tail of the whale. But then one day, the whale lost his way. These are speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear spitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. Oh, there's the noisy speedboats, look. This is the tide slipping away. Oh dear, whales need to be in the water, don't they? And this is the whale lying beached in the bay. Oh dear. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and she started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. Oh, I wonder where the snail's going to go. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk telling the children, sit still, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. There's the children and the teacher, look. 
and this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail? A snail? The teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the fireman, digging a pool. Squatting and spraying to keep the fish, the whale, not a fish. Cool. There. This is the tide coming into the bay, and these are the villagers shouting, Hooray! As the whale and the snail travel safely away. There is the tide coming in, and there's the whale swimming off with the snail on his tail. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock said, our time's flown and my haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars on enormous waves and how the snail so small and frail with her looping curling silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. There they are talking to all the other snails look they're still on that black rock. Then the humpback whale held out its tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail and they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue hump back whale. So they're all going on an adventure now. Oh, I'm glad that story ended happily. Okay, see you all later. Bye.